Well, we just made a this uh, we made this identity of living in the weight room as a program, preparing, preparing right now so the season's easier, making making conditioning and speed training and agility, you know, and strength training hard. So once we get into fall camp, or once we get the doubles, it becomes routine, you know, and you know we we'll try to limit injuries by making guys more flexible, more agile, and our whole focus this summer was uh, everybody all in. You know, you know, we preach the idea of sacrificing everything you are right now for what we could possibly be. And uh, I think it really starts by, you know, hey, giving up, you know, two hours out of my summer day to come work out and run. And uh, that's been our primary focus this, uh, this, this uh, weightlifting season. Nothing. Nothing, really. I mean, it's just yeah. it's just a new guy sitting in the, the head coach position. We try to... Uh, Build an offense and defense around what, the talent that we have. Uh, putting the right guys in the right places. We try to use the right 11 that play well together, that are consistent in all their fundamentals. So nothing's really changed. It's just, uh, it's just a younger face. <laughs> um, <clears throat> offensively or strength, I think we're going to be at the, at the skill position. You know, the, the receiver position with Ethan Stowe returning as you know two-way starter last year. And then he's got a host of young guys that uh, that are playing experience at different positions that are going to, that are stepping up from seniors to uh, first-time senior players to juniors and to a couple of sophomores in that role. Uh, our O-line, you know, we're replacing all five guys from last year. Has a lot to prove, and I, I think they're going to be a, a big question mark going into to fall camp. You know, at Cove, you know, we solidified a, a group of about eight or nine guys that could possibly play, but. Our offense is pretty much the same, uh, and then some young running backs. They are, but you know, when you don't have all that experience at the game speed that the varsity game plays, it's kind of different. Sure. So that true test will come uh, that uh, that first Friday, that Friday night in September, where whoever wins the job, you know, <laughs> two high safeties, one high safety. Yeah. Okay, what's this guy doing? How fast can he scan, react, and put the ball where it needs to be? So, and, uh, I think so. We've got a couple, you know, a couple young guys pushing a bunch of juniors for starting time. <clears throat> you know, some sophomores like really grasping the defense or the concepts we're trying to do, and uh, understanding where they need to be and how they need to make plays. You know, we want to hang our hat on defense, on fundamentals. You know, pursuit to the football, tackling well, uh, and limiting big plays. And I, that, that's what we emphasized last year. And our defensive philosophy is the same, you know, just different guys. Um, you know, having Trey Neal in the middle, that, I mean, that solves some problems right there. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be how do we react to game plans, you know, about Trey and Hayden Simon by moving Trey around, you know, and moving Hayden side and in and out, playing a little bit different coverages. But. All in all, the same. The philosophy of our defense is the same. It hasn't changed. Uh, Snow has been a huge in the secondary. I think Kevin Mendes had a cut up about three or four year games starting last year, so he's back as well. The safety position, we've plugged in some young guys, but young, athletic, long, rangy guys, mm -hmm. so they can defend the pass over the top and run downhill. So I think we got a kid named uh, Joey Gutierrez and Vaimu Enna. Uh, about, Joey's about 5'10", Vai, Vaimu's about 6'2". 185 and can run like an antelope mm -hmm. and his I think his wing pan's like 6'6 so we're excited about that it's our defense that's what we're gonna have to hang our hat until our offense can prove they can play